there welcome back to my channel my name is sylvia in today's video we shall be praying for our beloved husbands we belong to our beloved husbands and we love them so we are going to be praying for them we are going to pray that god is going to keep them god is going to watch over them god is going to preserve them and that they are going to fulfill their god-given purpose and that they are going to walk in the fear of god and in the ways of god we are going to pray according to james 5 16 that talks about the effective fervent prayer james 5 16 talks about the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much so i want to encourage a sister that our prayers avail much why do they avail much because we are praying to a big god we are praying to a mighty God. We are praying to a God who answers prayer. And we are praying in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, whatsoever we ask the Father, in Jesus' name, he shall give it to us. And also the word of God talks about angels. He says that angels, are they minister to the heirs of salvation. We are heirs of salvation. So, and we are speaking the word of God. And the angels of God, they hearken to the voice of his command. That is why our prayers are dynamic in their working because we are praying to a big god we are praying in the name of jesus we are praying heartfelt prayers the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much we are righteous we are the righteousness of god in christ in we are the righteousness of god in christ jesus so because we are righteous our prayers are effective they are powerful in the mighty name of Jesus and also Mark 11 Mark 11 talks about Mark 11 talks about what what that whatsoever we pray we we speak for verily I uh, Mark 11 23 for verily I say unto you that whoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith we shall have whatsoever we believe we want god to do for us so today we just thank god for our husbands our beloved husbands i was reading also from songs of solomon chapter 7 verse 10 to 12 it talks about how we belong to our beloved husbands and they desire their desire is for us and um, so we are going to pray for them because we love them and we want God's purposes and plans for their lives to be manifested in the name of Jesus. And I want, and we want also God to protect our marriages, to protect our spouses in the name of Jesus, to protect our husband. So these are prayers specifically for our beloved husbands. So I want us to pray in faith. Amen. And I want us to know that God answers prayer in the name of Jesus. So we are just going to take some prayer points in the name of Jesus. And uh, first I want us to start with repentance. If you're holding any grudge, harboring unforgiveness because of a certain situation perhaps that you're going through in your marriage, I want us to repent. I want us to ask God to forgive us. Yeah, We are going to ask God to forgive us we are going to repent we are not going to have our grudges because when you have our grudges and you're beat and you're offended it leads to bitterness and we don't want to be bitter people we want to be happy we want to be we want to walk in peace and we want joy and laughter in our homes yeah and we want to enjoy good relationships with our spouses so it doesn't matter who has offended who it doesn't matter who is in the right or the wrong we are going to be the bigger people and we are going to forgive. We are going to walk in forgiveness. We are not going to have the grudges. We are not going to be offended because it starts with offend. It starts with you being offended. Then it builds up and then a root of bitterness begins to grow. And that is exactly what the enemy wants. The enemy wants you to be bitter because once you are in that place, then he has captured you. So we are going to repent. And we are going to go before God. We are going to first start praying for ourselves. We are going to take care of ourselves first. So that we can have a pure heart, a clean heart. So that now we can pray for our beloved husbands. So I'm so excited. So I want us to just go before God. Wherever you are, just go before the Father. 
and, and then just repent in the name of Jesus. So let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you, we give you glory, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration, we magnify your name, O God, and we bless you. We repent, my Father, my God, for any sin in our hearts. We ask you, Father, that you may forgive us, cleanse us, and wash us, and purge us. Forgive us, my Father God, for unforgiveness, for bitterness, for jealousy, for envy, for harboring grudges. My Father, my God, we ask you, Father, to forgive us. Your word says that if we repent, you are righteous and just to forgive us and to remember our sin no more. So remember our sin no more. We release every situation and everything that is in our lives. We ask you, Father, to forgive us and to cleanse us, wash us, purge us, and make us holy. In Jesus' mighty name. The word of God says that if you repent, he's righteous and just to forgive you and remember your sin no more. So God has forgiven you. You have repented. God has forgiven you. And now ask God to give you a clean heart. So we are going to take another prayer point. We are going to ask God to give us, create within me a clean heart and renew the right spirit. Ask God to create within you a clean heart. Ask the Father to renew the right spirit within you. So go before the Father and ask God to forgive you. Ask God to give you a pure heart now, a clean heart. Have a pure heart, a clean heart. Even towards, we are praying specifically for situations uh, regarding our relationship with our husbands. So you're going to ask God to focus. We are going to ask God now to begin to give you a clean heart, to begin to give you a pure heart, to give, begin to uh, give you another heart. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We ask for a pure heart. We ask for a clean heart. Give create within us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank the Father. Say thank you, Father, for giving me a clean heart. Thank you, Father, for giving me a pure heart. You now have a clean heart. You have a pure heart. Because the word of God says we pray in faith. We believe we receive whatsoever we ask the Father in Jesus' name. He gives it to us. So we've asked God for a pure heart, a clean heart. And he's given us a pure heart and a clean heart. And we have said no to, to unforgiveness, no to bitterness, no to jealousy, envy, no to offense. We have now received a pure heart and a clean heart. And now we ask God to take control of our lives in the name of Jesus. So um, we are going to pray also. I just want us to take some more prayer points. Uh, 1 Peter 3, 1. Let us go to 1 Peter 3. Let us go to 1 Peter 3. We are praying for our beloved husbands. Hallelujah. 1 Peter First Peter chapter three verse one. First Peter chapter three verse one. Believing wives must be subject to their own husbands, and if the husband is not a follower of Christ, by doing so they might win them to Christ through the example of their own changed lives and hearts. Christian husbands must honor their wives. All believers must live in unity together and refuse to seek revenge. So we are going to pray for our own selves. We are going to pray for our character. We are going to ask God. Because in this scripture it talks about how our character, how our behavior can win the hearts of our husbands. So we are going to ask God to change our character. We are going to ask God to give us grace. Yeah, That we are going to use, he is going to give us grace. That we are going to minister to our husbands even with our character. And our character is going to draw our husbands to God. And he's also going to minister to them in Jesus' name. So let us pray in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, my Father, my God. Your word says that even our character, even our behavior is able to minister to our husbands and draw them to Christ. So we pray, my Father, my God, for more grace in the name of Jesus, even my Father, my God, to serve and minister to our husbands with our character, with our godly behavior, that we shall be godly wives, women that fear God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. Whatsoever we ask the Father, 
he gives that to us because we have asked in the name of Jesus. So just thank God. Just thank God now. I just want to thank God for just thank God for your life. Thank God, thank God for, for your life. Father, I thank you for our lives. Thank you, Father, because you're giving us more grace to walk in the fear of God and in the ways of God. Thank you, my Father, because we are godly wives. We fear you. We walk in the fear of God. Thank you for you give us abundance of grace, my Father, my God. Thank you, Father, because our conversation is seasoned with salt in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, my God, that we shall know when to speak and when to withhold in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, my God, because we honor and esteem our husbands highly in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Hallelujah. And then now the last prayer, the last prayer point that we are going to take on our on our side. We are going to cast every care to God. We are going to acknowledge that we need God. And God says we commit everything to Him. So we are going to commit our spouses to God. We are going to commit our husbands to God. We are going to commit our beloved husbands to God. And we are going to ask God to take over every situation, every circumstance, every issue. We are going to lay it at the feet of the Father. We are going to cast our cares to God. Psalms 55, 22 says, Cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. We are going to cast our cares. We are going to cast our marriages. We are going to cast every care we have concerning our husbands to the Lord. And he's going to sustain us. He will never let the righteous be shaken. You will not be shaken. Your relationship will not be shaken. Your marriage will not be shaken. Because you're casting your cares to God. You have cast the care, every care, every concern that you have for your husband. You're casting it to the Lord. In Jesus' name. And also Philippians 4, 6. It talks about be anxious for nothing. We shall not be anxious for anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. Philippians 4, 16. We shall not be anxious of anything. We shall surrender everything to God. We, that is why we are praying. In prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. And the peace of God. Why are we doing this? So that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. So when we surrender everything to God, we refuse to be anxious. We refuse to be... We, we take everything to prayer and supplication. We thanksgiving. We are making our request known to God. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding is going to guard our hearts in Christ Jesus. So I want you to go now before the Father in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Father, we surrender our spouses to you. We surrender our husband to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for our husband. Thank you, my Father, my God. Thank you, Jehovah God. We surrender him to you now in the name of Jesus. We ask you, my Father, my God, to take total control. Your word says that we cast our cares to you because you care. Thank you, Father, because you care for us. Thank you, Father, because we refuse to be anxious. We surrender every situation to you in the name of Jesus and we cast our cares to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is why we are praying, my Father, my God, even for more grace in the name of Jesus. We thank you, my Father, my God, because you hear prayer. You answer prayer in the name of Jesus. We have made our request known to you. Intervene in the name of Jesus. Intercept, my Father, my God, every working of the enemy in our spouse's life, in our our marriages in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. And we ask for your peace that surpasses all understanding to guard and keep our hearts in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Just begin to thank God for answered prayer. Thank God. Thank God, Father, we thank you for hearing us. Thank you for answered prayer. Thank you for our spouses in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.